Kyle here for IDJ Now at the 2013 Winter NAMM Show here in the Mackey Showroom. We're with Jason, who's going to tell us all about the new DLM series for Mackey. So, Jay, take it away and let us know what we can expect from this really high-end, really cool series. All right, Kyle. Well, we're going to start off talking about the, the two of the three boxes we have from the DLM series. This is the DLM 8, the DLM 12, and then if you look down here, we have the DLM 12S subwoofer. Now, right off the bat, you're looking at the speaker and going, where's the rest of the speaker? And that's one of the four key features of the speaker is that it's 33% smaller than any other speaker that's available on the market now. And the reason why is because it has brand new true source technology drivers that are customized and made specifically for Mackie from Celestion. So think about a coax driver, how the high frequency sits on top of the low frequency driver. It's the same theory, except the low frequency and the high frequency driver share the same mag magnet in the box. So you're able to have a smaller size box makes it smaller makes it lighter. Sure. So custom speakers made by Celestion called True Source Technology gives the box 33% smaller size, less weight, um, and a cool new design. Another big feature of these boxes is that they're all 2,000 watts. The 8-inch, the 12-inch, and the sub are 2,000 watts. There's two amps in the top boxes, the two-way boxes, 500 watts RMS each, 1,000 watts peak, 1,000 plus 1,000 is 2,000 watts. Makes sense. The subwoofer, obviously you don't need two amps for the subwoofer because it's just one low frequency. So. 1,000 watt RMS amp, 2,000 watts peak. Uh, the last big feature of this box is the digital mixer that's inside of it. And that's what's gonna set it apart, other than just the size and the looks and the sound and anything else that you're gonna see in this NAMM show is the built-in digital mixer inside this. And if you turn over to your left over here, we'll show you the back panel of these. So what we're looking at is the back panel of the, the DLM-8 and the DLM-12. It's the same amplifier section for the 8-inch driver and the 12-inch driver. And we're going to go through a couple of the features here as far as inputs and then what the digital mixer is going to do. If you look along the bottom here, we have two inputs, input 1 and 2, XLR quarter-inch combo jacks, RCA input, and then an XLR through output to, to link to another speaker. Why this is different than any other speaker on the market is because this is not a left and a right. It's an input one and input two, so it allows you to have two different input sources and you can mix between the two. So if I click input one here on the panel, you're going to see all of your, your layout here. Here's my, my volume display for channel one. If I click channel two, it's going to jump over to channel two and I'll be able to mix the volume independently. So why is that good? I could have a microphone in one channel and I could have a guitar in the second. If the microphone needs to be a little hotter, I can turn the volume up. If the guitar needs to go down, I can turn it down. Also, if you look along the side over here, you're going to see the EQ section. If I click on that, I'm able to manipulate the low frequency, the mid frequency, and the high frequencies to whatever, whatever I, I'd like for the room. If you look down from there, you'll have a delay. Delay is just basically it's a microphone effect. So if you have a microphone plugged directly into the box, you could have reverb, delay, different kinds of choruses and hall settings. And we'll get into that into the system menu. So real quick, you have channel one, channel two, those are your different inputs. When I click on system, this is where we really get into why this digital mixer is packed with features that nothing else you're gonna see here. First thing you're gonna see is EQ setting. These are predetermined EQs that are built into the amplifier section of the speaker. First one is PA and it's going to leave it completely flat. If you want to manipulate the sound of the speaker from your mixing board, you just leave this as flat and then do it for your EQ from your mixing board. DJ is going to give it a little smiley face curve, a little bump in the lows, a little bump in the highs. Soloist is going to be designed more for um, an act with a microphone and acoustic guitar. Monitor is for a stage monitor where it's mostly vocals that are coming through it. A lot of low frequency reduction, a lot of mid frequency bumps for singers on stage. As I go down, you're going to see EQK and EQY. This is on the DLM-8. On the DLM-12, you're going to see EQK and EQJ. Now, if you haven't figured that out already, EQY is K-series modeling. EQ, I'm sorry, EQK is K-series modeling. EQY is Yamaha modeling. So if you like how the K-series sound, you can just dial it in on the, back, on the back right here. Next feature down is delay. Not a microphone delay like you would normally think. That's it's more of a speaker stack delay for distance. So if you're in a large room and you need to cover a far distance, you can set the delay time so that you don't have um, the speakers out of phase or you know, to keep them all in the same time with each other. And it's just as simple as dialing how many feet away the speaker is from your main stage and your main stack of speakers. So to clarify on that with these delay features, this is if you have a second stack of speakers further out into the crowd to get a further distance away from your main stage. Exactly. And that feature allows you to time align the main speakers at the stage and the delay speakers out in the field. Exactly. Or think about down uh, 
uh, the side of a road for a marathon. You might have a speaker every 50 feet and you can have them all time aligned with each other so that all the sound's not all over the place. Now that's a big feature to have because normally you need to have an outboard mixer or processor just for that and that could cost you a couple hundred bucks. Oh, hundreds of dollars yeah. to be able to do that. And you also have to understand how that works with the calculations. This is calculating that for you in the back of the speaker. Just measure and by you feet. have meters and feet. Yeah. So just, hey, my, my speaker run is 50 feet. There you go, just dial that's it in. That's great. Moving down in the, in the system, we have effects. Now the effects ties to um, the back panel, the front of the, sorry, the first channel one and channel two input if you're using a microphone or an acoustic guitar and you want a reverb or some type of delay on, on that. It's more of a, a built-in effect rather than the time delay like you saw before. And if we scroll through, you'll see all the different types of delays. Chorus, reverbs, cathedral, hall, theater, a whole bunch of different effects built into it. Something that you're gonna pay hundreds of dollars extra on, on a mixer to have, and it's built right into the back of the speaker. Right, it seems the speaker, the, the DSP behind here, is replacing a lot, a, a huge effects rack that a, a regular sound guy may carry for your delay and for your reverb and all those effects. It's the entire effects rack is now into the back of the speaker. So the last feature on here is feedback elimination. Let's say, for instance, you're using this in a corporate event where you're just having a microphone and, and voice through it. And based on the speaker position and the limitations of, of being able to really eliminate feedback where your microphone and your speaker are, there's nothing you could do when it's feeding back. This is going to find the frequencies that are feeding back. It's going to remember it and it's going to notch them down in the EQ curve. And you'll be able to store that so that it'll eliminate the feedback. And then you could obviously reset it as you're using dip different applications for the speaker. So built-in feedback elimination. Do you know how many notches in each, uh, yeah, I guess, in that bank there that it, it cuts down? Just the ones that are, are feeding back. Any one, it's, it's usually one frequency depending sure. on where you are, so it's going to find that one. And it's, I mean, if you're really out of control, you might want to rethink <laughs> where your speakers right. are and where, you're, where, you're, um, where your microphone is. Sure. But for the most part, it's usually just going to be one frequency that it's going to find and it's going to help notch that Good. down. Good. The final feature on here is a memory. Any changes that you make to any of the features on the back of the, the speaker, you can save. So that if you're doing a church gig on a Friday night with a, with a microphone and guitar, you, and you have your EQ set and your, feed, your feedback elimination set and your reverb set, you can save that. And then the next day if you're doing a DJ gig and you want everything flat because you're going to be running all of your DSP from your DJ mixer, you could just jump back and forth to the different preset pages. Um, one of the other features to show you real quick, this is a monitor kickstand, so you could pull this out and you're able to tilt the speaker back so if you're using it as a floor wedge. Some of the we'll go through some of the accessories real quick, and uh, and then that'll conclude. All right. Some of the accessories we offer are it's a new speaker pole that we have. Everybody's used to seeing the SPM 200. This is the SPM 300. It's it's longer because the subwoofers are lower to the ground and the top boxes are smaller, so we're going to need more width. Sure. Um, and that's a SPM 300. If you come over here. We have wall mount bracket. So if you're doing installations. Then on the floor over here we have the the covers for all three speakers. And actually we're forgetting one of the biggest features. We forgot about the, the subwoofer. So we'll touch on that real quick. 2,000 watts, single 12 inch driver in that. And then the back panel here, this looks similar to the DLM8 and the DLM12, except we have some of the features taken out because it's not necessary for a subwoofer speaker. So still have our volume. Then we have crossover points. Preset crossover curves for pre-existing Mackie speakers. So if you're running it with a DLM8, it's going to automatically set where it feels the best frequency crossover point is, the DLM12, SRM350, SRM450, and then the variable, variable allows you to sweep it yourself. So if you're using another type of speaker or you're just not happy with the predetermined crossover point, you're able to sweep through it. This also has the delay feature, like the DLM8 and the DLM12, so that if you're doing long distances and you want to be able to fix that delay issue, and then the memory to be able to save um, presets that you've changed on your own. Back panel looks standard as far as your inputs and outputs, left and right input, left and right high pass output, left and right full range output, which is standard on any of the speakers on the market today. It is pretty standard, but I, I've seen in the past where the high pass and the full range are usually one. Uh, one output and you have to switch between one or the other. This way it seems that you can have a high pass crossover to your main speaker and a full range link to uh, another sub. It's a good way to look at it. Yeah. You can definitely so you can do, do them both at the same time as opposed to occupying uh, one and, and eliminating the other. Exactly.
I like the, uh, is it the polarity switch too? Yep, you have a polarity switch, so if you want to, if you have multiple subs and you want to do a cardioid pattern. Right. And then you also have a mono stereo, so if you, if you're running the, the subwoofer just in its own, on its own aux on a mixer and you're not running it in chain with the top boxes and you just want a mono sub, yep. you're able to just pop that in right there. Anything else? <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. I think that's everything. That covers it. Anybody else has any questions? You guys can see them on the store. That's great. That's right. For more information on the DLM series, you can check out idjnow.com.